This is a house in Tokyo you'd get for $400,000. So in this video, I wanted to do something a little different than the usual, and I wanted to give you a tour of a $400,000 house in Tokyo, Japan. That's 60 million yen, and I'm gonna show you what you really get for this price. But first, to give you some background, the reason I have access to this place is that my real estate friend is planning on renovating this house. But before he does, he said I can give you guys a full tour of the place. But anyways, let me know if you guys like this type of video. If you wanna see more, let me know in the comments. That said, Let's begin this tour. I've actually never been here before, so let's go check it out now. So this is the house, a 160 square meter 4 LDK house with two garages and a backyard sitting on a 181 square meter plot of land. A 44 year old house with a market value of 60 million yen, about 400,000 US dollars. So this is the actual front door and apparently no one has actually lived in here for the last, I think, three years. So it'll be interesting to see what's inside. But just looking around, they do have this like cool drain system. Some stuff that's kind of like overgrown right here. They have some security like floodlights, I guess, right here. That's quite interesting. But anyways, let's go inside. Okay, so it's not much warmer in this house, so I think I'm just gonna leave my jacket on. But looking around, it kind of doesn't have that typical Japanese vibe. Kind of more like a blend of like Scandinavian and Tokyo home, I guess. For, you know, Japan standards, this like open entrance area is quite roomy. Looks like the light is actually missing. Oh wait, actually look, it's like typical in a Japanese home. They actually have like a little shoe closet here. As I go through here, I'm trying to figure out like what my friend would do to like renovate this place and how he's gonna change all of it. So let me know in the comments also if you guys have any ideas on what you guys would do yourself. Let's continue on. Okay, so I think this is the main living room area and you can see it's still very, very lived in. <laughs> Lots of interesting features. You got that cool chandelier area right there. You have that Seiko clock. I wonder if it still works. Maybe put some batteries in there. You have these two wide open windows that lead into kind of like this balcony area. I mean, you can do a lot with that. The AC there. You got these really kind of old curtains. Um, it's still like in fairly okay condition. You can see the floors are a little bit soft. Old TV plugs here. You know, it looks like these cabinets are, are still pretty cool. So you might be able to to refurbish them. Is that the word? Refurbish? Maybe not. Refinish? Okay, so this is the backyard area. If I could figure out how to open this door. Oh, here we go. Okay, so look at this. This is actually pretty cool. I didn't even realize there's like a little side gate over there. There's quite a lot of space for Tokyo. Yeah, there's so much that you could potentially do with this. I mean, you can just throw a hot tub, barbecue, throw a jacuzzi, maybe a sauna and a cold bath. You know, I've actually been into that recently. So yeah, this was my place. I could just like clear this out and let Wolfie play and have like a place for him and his friends to come. At the end of the day, quite a bit of stuff you can do. Just, I think around the corner, let's go around this way. Just here, this is kind of like a cemented area. You can put like a little awning to sit out here, have some tea, have a beer, just hang out with some friends. What a perfect spot. And apparently this right here is a parsimon tree. You know, twice a year you probably have some fruits coming in. Okay, so before we move on, I thought it'd probably be a good idea to explain the housing prices here in Tokyo. So in Japan, housing properties are evaluated based on the land value plus the building value. In Tokyo, the average land value is about 1.2 million yen, 
8,110 US dollars per square meter, while in this area on the outskirts averages about 330 yen, 2,230 US dollars per square meter, which would value this house's land at around $400,000. But since the house was built in 1980, has been poorly maintained, left unrenovated, with no one living here for three years, the house value in Japan is considered close to zero, therefore a total valuation of $400,000. I'm interested to see what the kitchen is like. Kind of low. Definitely not made for tall westerners. Okay, so this is the kitchen area right here and it's a very typical Japanese kitchen. I love the fact that there's so much space. Just looking at this area in itself, like I'm living in central Tokyo and just feel like this space alone is as big as, as our apartment. You have the stoves, you have three burners. It even has one of these small Japanese fish grills. It's like an old school air conditioning unit right here. Oh, and then you even have some storage in here, built in storage. It's not really a refrigerator, but it keeps things cooler. Got some interesting sinks right here. Oh wow, look up there in the cabinet area. They have some old school alcohol. I don't even know if you're able to drink this stuff, but 15 year malt whiskey, Highland Queen fine old scotch whiskey. I got some Suntory old whiskey. Dude, this might actually fetch a good price. Look at that. I love it. Finding these little treasures from the House of Suntory Limited, the oldest distillers in Japan. Okay, I guess it's just Suntory. You know, it's probably at least three years old for sure. Would you guys drink this? <laughs> okay, let's put this back. Literally, there is so much potential that you can do with this place. Almost wouldn't mind living here myself if I renovated it. Anyways, let's continue on. So what is interesting, I think this is a four LDK, so that means that you have the living, the dining, and then you have four rooms. So we have four more rooms to go, so let's continue on. This light right here keeps bothering me, it just like keeps on flickering, but you know, what would you expect? Okay, so this is the bath area. You got the sink here, little outlet for your washer dryer system right here. You got some cabinets, you got this cool little heater. Then you got the, the breaker here as well. This is the tub area, kind of like a smaller size bath, perfect for the population, but it's cool. So this here is a you know Japanese style bath. Just press a button, have some coffee or tea, and then after like, I don't know, 15 minutes, the bath will be like perfectly heated to what level you want. So definitely love that part about Japanese houses. And then also, you know, you can also just take a shower here if you don't want to take a bath. Even has some side handles here for people that need handles. <laughs> Let's keep on going. Okay, and I think just around the corner here is the toilet area. Nice, this toilet has a fan. Okay, so I think there's one more room over here, so. Let's go check it out. Okay, so this room here has some cool tatami action going on. Pretty standard Japanese room. So I don't know if I renovated it, if I keep it or not. Maybe some people like it, but pretty cool because it like leads out into the backyard area. You have a lot of closet space. Just over here, they have some closets from like for futons. Yeah, there's quite a lot of storage space in this house. And like per room, they have a lot of storage space. Um, man. My allergies are starting to kick in, so maybe it's the dust or maybe some pets. But who knows, I might have to finish the rest of this video with a mask. You have, I don't even know what that is. Huh. Oh cool, so just right there, they have like this old school gas outlet. I guess if you wanted to, to cook or maybe like just have like nabe together, like eat here, like more like traditional Japanese style. And then you have the shoji, which is a pretty typical 
Looks like they have some Televi cabling going on here. Before I continue, I should probably also just mention the location of this place. We're actually in Komae City, which is kind of like on the outskirts of Tokyo. But what's kind of interesting is that there's a lot of like cool spots in this area. Let me just um, cut to some B-roll of this, like this area. So a 12 minute walk away, Komae train station has many stops and cool restaurants and of course a supermarket. Also it's about a 20 minute train ride from Shinjuku station. This area has a down to earth relaxing vibe and my favorite three breweries in the area with just one across the street. And at the same distance away, Kitami station which is a bit smaller than Komae station but also has everything you need such as a supermarket, drugstores, and some restaurants. Okay so let's go upstairs. These steps are pretty fairly steep, They're very typical in the Tokyo standards. Kind of a balcony area that you can overlook at the entrance right here. I like that. It makes it feel more spacious just having this like open area right here. Just right here, like a separate sink area. So I guess people that are sleeping upstairs, they might just want to brush their teeth and not go all the way downstairs. They can do it here, or, you know, get a cup of water or something. So that's kind of convenient. Okay, so let's see what's in door number one. Okay. So it's a toilet. Uh, it's a pretty standard toilet, I guess. This one, unlike the one downstairs, doesn't have the Japanese bidet, so... I don't know, for me, I'd probably use the one downstairs. At least for now. Huh. Interesting, I was like, hey, what's that? And that one actually has a cord coming out of the toilet seat. So I think it's a heated seat at least. So before we continue on, I wanna give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. If y'all don't already know, Squarespace is the number one way to build your online presence. In fact, I use Squarespace for my website, Tokyo Zebra. Here are just some of the reasons why I love using Squarespace so much. Now with Fluid Engine, their next generation website design system, it helps anyone unlock their creativity with reimagined drag and drop technology for desktop or mobile. And start with their professional website templates, but then customize it like I did for my website to fit your own needs. Check out my homepage, it shows my latest video for both my channels. If you want to sell products online, physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has you covered. Sell custom merch, Squarespace has you covered. Want to accept online appointments? Guess what? Squarespace also has you covered. So there you go. Go to squarespace.com today for your free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com for it's Paolo from Tokyo and get 10% off your first domain or website. Okay, check out this room. Okay, so this room is pretty similar to the one downstairs, minus the fact that it has this huge cabinet area right here. And it does have like corner windows, which is nice. This one also has a gas content, so maybe all of the rooms have it. Probably not for cooking, but more for heat, because as I look around, there isn't any air conditioning. So probably that's what it's meant for. Again, it has tatami mats, which is pretty standard. Wondering if the other rooms have that as well. Well, let's have a quick look outside of the window. Let's open this side right here. Okay, so that's pretty nice. It overlooks the yard right here. Man, that yard just has so much potential. There's so much stuff that, you know, I would love to do with it if it were, you know, my own property and my own renovation. Oops, um, I just broke the screen right here. Let's just take it out for now. Oh, okay, so this one just looks straight into the other house, so probably wouldn't leave this one open, you know, maybe just to get some fresh breeze like going through both windows. Okay, so let's just quickly look into this cabinet area, you know, see how people used to live back in the day. Well, I guess not back in the day, it's like three years ago. There's like Ultraman, there's, I don't even know what these things are. Let's see. 
come in. We have a Godzilla there. I got like all sorts of stuff. You got some Disney characters here. You got Donald Duck Bell, like old school toy cars. <laughs> Too familiar with what type of cars these are, but yeah, little classic cars. Oh, I thought that was a drink. It said Ravella, the unique drink. Piggy bank of some sort. Huh, interesting. Anyways, let's move on. Okay, so this room itself is more Western. It actually has wooden flooring. It has another corner view, which is pretty cool. It has a balcony outside. This one has AC, so I guess it's kind of like more of a Western style. Have all the cabling there for TV, internet, I think. Plenty of closet space. So as I mentioned earlier, my real estate friend is planning on renovating this place. He's actually gonna turn it into an Airbnb. It does have like a lot of potentials. I do like his kind of like business plan about what he's like trying to do with this. I'm not actually involved in this project at all, but who knows, maybe this thing works out. I might get involved in the future. I just wanna see how things go with what he's doing. At the end of the day, he's given me kind of this opportunity just to film it before he renovates. I don't think he has the designs available yet. I, I think he's still like getting estimates on like renovating this place. But yeah, I can see like definitely a lot of things that he could do. Um, if it were my place, there's a lot of things that I would do, but you know, I think I approached it from if I were actually going to live in this place myself. But you know, when it's, a business, I guess it's a little bit different. If you guys do want to see kind of like how this place is renovated, what the results are, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to break down the cost or show you guys actually how it's all done, just let me know. But anyways, let me show you the rest of this place. I think there's a few more rooms left. Oh, actually I didn't show you this outdoor section right here. Let's see if we can get outside. Oh cool, it's like a little balcony area. Then you have the clothes hangers up here, which is very typical of Japanese homes. Sandals here, and like little sandals. So maybe there's a little kid that used to live here. And there's even like a little satellite dish right here. It's overlooking the yard, pretty cool. And then I think over there as well, it's connected to the other room with probably like the same height as all of the other houses around here. They're all two-story houses, so you can't like see above it to see more, but yeah, nonetheless, pretty cool. So I should probably also say, if you guys do wanna check out this Airbnb, or if you guys wanna see what my friend is doing with his Airbnb business, um, I'll leave a link in the description. You know, he was kind enough to let me show you guys this house. So this room itself, I think probably needs the most work out of all the rooms. You can see like the carpet torn up, probably needs to be redone. Maybe the walls need to be redone. This one has some of the like old school characteristics that it definitely needs to be updated. There's actually also two garages. Um, I think it's just being used as storage. Yeah, let's go check that out. We can go outside, but it's pretty much the same as before. That was the other room. This is the room next to it. This is the, the front air, entrance area, so. Okay, so the garage itself is actually on the outside. It's not connected to the house, so you have to go from the front area here and just around this corner. Okay, so this is the garage area. You can't actually like fully stand up in it until think about this stage right here. It's pretty deep. Probably fit like a limousine in here. It's so long, but um, it doesn't go anywhere. So you just have that one entrance and you have to kind of back out. It doesn't like connect to anything. Okay, so there's actually another garage just right there. So let's go check it out. Okay, so this second garage just looks like a bunch of storage. Let's go inside. You can see there's just all of this storage space all in here. So you can probably fit maybe like a small car or just like bikes in this one or just use it as storage. What do you guys think? Um, what would you guys 
do if you had this place? Would you move in just as is? Would you renovate? What would you do if you renovated? Let me know all of this in the comments. If you guys like this video, like always, help me out, hit that like button. If you guys wanna help with the channel, definitely check out my hot sauce or my merch. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.